it's a miracle. Because when I left, I was taking a nap and a cop banged on my door and I literally got out with my shirt and my dog. Lexi Brooks is counting her blessings Wednesday night. The fire narrowly missed her unit. It stopped like literally, literally right at the fence line. Like it, it, it didn't get me. And there's like all I have is ash. 24 hours later, crews are still working to drown the 50 acre fire. It started as a grass fire. Uh, it encroached on the buildings by going from grass to trees. Those trees were very close to the buildings or even touching the roof in a couple cases. As residents returned home, nearby business owners reopened after evacuating on Tuesday. The heat was so intense that you can literally feel it coming on. It's like somebody's put you in an oven. So we were moved to about, at least I would say, about two, 300 feet uh, away from the actual fire, but you can still feel the heat coming upon you. Saeed Ali opened his store doors not to sell items, but to help. <laughs> He offered cold water and food to first responders and displaced residents. My crew is one of them because they've lost their apartment, but unfortunate thing is that we went through it, but the good thing is that we can always pick up and be strong again as a community. With help from strangers, to old colleagues and firefighters, residents like Lexi Brooks say they're just thankful to be alive. Uh, like, thank you from the bottom of my heart because I was afraid I was going to be homeless starting the school year and you saved not only my home but my life.